What's up, y'all? Welcome to Epiphany Tarot. I'm here to do a reading. Now, this is going to be for Aries, okay? So, Aries, tap in. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good shit. But what's crazy is, when I woke up this morning, I knew I was going to do Aries reading, right? But I woke up, and it's a thunderstorm going on outside, which was giving me, like, tower energy, so there could be something crumbling or the foundation to something is like falling apart right now, Aries. Um, I don't know what the fuck is going on here based on, based on these cards that I got out here, but it's definitely, whatever this is, Aries is definitely giving childish because underneath the deck is the Queen of Wands reversed in the tower and the upright. So there could be, I mean, I don't want to say that you're getting exposed, Aries, but it feels more like some sort of behavior. Like Aries, like, I'm not going to lie. I feel like something is coming back up to the surface because last time I did your reading, last time I did your reading, Aries, like, it was divine intervention showing up to help separate you from some type of narcissist or some type of pattern of behavior. And I'm like, I'm kind of getting the same energy again because the tower is here. The tower is divine intervention. It's like the tower comes in when you've taken too long to do what the divine has told you to do. So they come in with the tower to break it apart, basically. I feel like you could be upset with the Queen of Wands reverse. And somebody definitely could be agitating you. I feel like there's a masculine energy out here who... This could be somebody who likes to drink wine. Somebody with a low cut. Somebody who even wears glasses. Uh, for some of you, this person has gauges. Um, something about a shaved head. This could be somebody who likes to dress nice too. Because on this card in the Ace of Cups, he got on a turtleneck. And I feel like most men... Most pe most men who take pride in their appearance wear turtlenecks. So this could be somebody who's like in the fashion. Like I'm hearing like fashion killer. You know what I'm saying? Like on some, I don't know who really be dressing. Like, I don't know. Like it's giving like gunna. Like he ain't got to be no rapper, but I'm saying he just takes pride in his appearance. This is a man who likes to wear turtlenecks and shit. Uh, so I'm, I can imagine like turtlenecks, you know, like crazy patterns, like the latest sneakers, like that type of shit is what I'm getting. I don't know who the fuck this is. This could definitely be your baby daddy because it's giving like baby mama, baby daddy drama. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, I feel like this person is really pissing you off. Queen of Wands reversed in the tower. But it's, it's like bringing something up. Like, it's bringing something up within you that needs to be worked on. So, are you letting this person get a rise out of you? Is this person pissing you off, Aries? Because the Queen of Wands reverse can be a lack of confidence, you know, feeling insecure. I ain't gonna lie. The Queen of Wands reverse is somebody who's, like, very loud talking, very, like... she could be embarrassing in public now i'm not saying that this is all you aries i just got look i'm just a messenger i'm showing you what the fuck is coming out here if it's your card i have to address it as you for some of you this may not be you like this could be a sibling a sister a best friend that's dealing with this or whatever but you know usually my guys period so that's confirmation that this is some of y'all ass because my guys really, like, when I ask them something, they give me what I'm asking for. So, I asked about you. What's going on with you? The Aries Collective. And this is what's coming out. So, I don't know who's pissing you off. Or there is some type of, like, I don't know what the fuck this tower is. Because in this deck, this deck is a little bit different. So, in the tower card, she's actually the one on fire. It's a woman on fire. So, I'm like, this is something going on with her. Like, she could be just, like, like, 38 hot mad. I'm talking about, like, piss the fuck off. I don't know. It's, it's definitely giving, like, a lack of confidence here. Like, I don't know what that's about. Let me see. 
and I don't even really use the books that come with these decks. Incineration and segregation from unessential principles are moving forward. It's time to peel back the grains of the pedicles, don't it? Oh. Yeah, that's why I said, that's why I was just like, this tower doesn't feel bad, but it's like exposing something with you, within you, Aries, that needs to be corrected. And this, this tower card in this particular deck talks about the shedding of old skin, the breaking of the chains, breaking your limitations, um, breaking out of old patterns and belief systems and shit. Yeah, it says multiple hands try to hold on to the past and only drastic me measures can stop them. I wear a comfortable mask and it's hard to take them off, but now they are separating from me. So I will be able to bring back my true self. I become more holistic every second. I found a place where I can purge. Yes, that's that's what I'm trying to get with. That's what I was trying. That's the word I was looking for, purging. So this is what you're doing, Aries. You're purging. I feel like some of you Aries, you've been wearing masks for a long time to try to like, you know, anytime somebody wears a, a, a mask, it's like a a form of self-protection you know what i'm saying it's like you don't want to be too vulnerable you don't really want people to see you or see you know who you really are behind the mask and i feel like you're breaking free of that spirit is coming in to get you out of that you know what i'm saying like whatever whatever has been keeping you wanting to wear these masks and shit it's time to come out of that it's time to heal it's time to get out of this protective energy you know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't feel safe or you don't feel comfortable, like, I don't know. It's like something here where it's like this tower could be because you're trying to hold on to something that doesn't need to be held on to. You know what I'm saying? It's like spirit is trying to take the mask off of you, but you're trying to keep it back on. So it's like you're going back and forth with spirit within this tower energy. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say it's, it could be exposing your most vulnerable self, Aries. But that's okay. Like, that's necessary in order to grow, in order to change. However, it can be extremely uncomfortable. But I feel like somebody out here is really pissing you off because after all of this, it's like somebody is, like, trying to make this offer to somebody else. Like, because this is the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups represent a brand new beginning, especially in regard to emotional energy, you know, love or whatever. So I feel like this is somebody who's trying to offer this Ace of Cups to somebody else after you've worked with this person and nothing came of it, basically. is what I'm getting. I feel like this is what's pissing you off. It's like, I don't know if you've been waiting around for somebody to get their act together or waiting around for somebody to mature. I feel like this person is growing or they're pretending like they've grown up and they're mature and shit and they're ready to give this ace of cups with to somebody but i don't feel like they're trying to give it to you aries and i feel like that could be what's making somebody mad because for some of you you didn't have babies with this person and some more shit and this, this is like this is like having kids with somebody investing years time energy resources money all type of shit only to realize that at the end of all of this, this person is not choosing you. They're not making this offer. They're not giving this Ace of Cups to you. They might even be giving it to themselves with the Ace of Cups. This person could be growing or changing this shit. And they may be changing their mind about the idea of a relationship. And I feel like that's making somebody like really, really upset. Queen of Wands reversing the tower and the upright. But anyway, let me show you the cards that I got out here. I got the Page of Cups in the reverse. The three of pentacles in the reverse and the ace of pentacles in the reverse so let me say this before i forget before i even get into this other shit so first of all um i'm picking up on like drug and alcohol abuse out here so for some of you areas you may be drinking too much or somebody around you is so there's a need to cut back on that um also if you if you had like a health regimen or routine that you were doing and you kind of fell off Aries, it's time to get back on that too get back onto your health routine um whatever you were doing i don't know if the fuck you were making smoothies or i don't know if you were vegan pescatarian whatever the fuck you was doing spirit it's like it's time to get back to that and it's definitely time to get back in the gym not saying that you gain weight or anything like that Aries. i'm just saying that 
it's just time to get your routine back in order. Like spirit is calling for exercise in this reading. I don't know why they're saying that. Okay. Um, but yeah, something here isn't working anymore. Like the three pentacles versus like you, you could be with somebody, but there's a lack of effort to even keep working on this connection. Like it's like you don't care and they don't care. It's like no motivation, no determination to keep trying to build on whatever this is. Yeah, and there's a missed opportunity out here. The Ace of Pentacles could also be like excessive spending. So somebody out here needs to be mindful of that. Because I feel like whatever this is going on, whatever this is that's going on with you, Aries, it could be distracting you from your job. So it could be you could be having a hard time with your employees or your employer or something. You're having a hard time with the people that you work with, you know, because the three of pentacles is somebody who, oh, Lord, Aries. Okay. Let's just talk about the money for a second. Like I said, whatever this is that's going on with you, this tower energy, I feel like it's distracting you from your work. Um, you're not putting in your best efforts, whatever you do for a living. I don't give a fuck if it's a creative Whatever the fuck, I don't care if you're an entrepreneur, three of pentacles reverse can also indicate unemployment. So for some of you, if you, you don't have a job, I feel like you still haven't been putting in the effort to look for one either. Like the ace of pentacles reverse and it's like something about, something about needing to put money up for a rainy day. Because there could be excessive spending out here. There could be also, if you broke up with somebody, there's like some anxiety or insecurity around your finances due to a breakup it's like you know what i'm saying it's like ever since you broke up with somebody you don't have the same oh my voice trying to go out oh shit um ever since you broke up with somebody there's like there's a sense of a lack of financial security you know what I'm saying? It's like you it's like you have to really struggle or penny pinch now or whatever the case may be because you're not in a relationship anymore or because there's not a two parent household anymore or something like that. Um so there's a need for you to save your money. Um page of cups reverse could be somebody who's really acting out, somebody's really acting childish. Um, they're obsessed with their image. It's like somebody out here, like the page of cups reverse is emotional instability. I feel like somebody is like drinking or getting high or doing something and then they act out. You know what I'm saying? Because the page of cups can be emotional stability that turns into envy, jealousy, obsession, revenge plots, you know, trying to be spiteful, trying to get back at somebody. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like a cry for help. But this is this is the part that I don't like, Aries, because the page of Cups Reverse is like somebody's acting really immature. Somebody's not listening to that inner voice. You know how like when you're by yourself, you're thinking about some shit and like you're having a conversation within your head. It's like somebody's not listening to their voice of reason. They're just acting out because they're being driven by this emotional instability. Somebody's being childish. They're obsessing over this situation. They're obsessing on, over how this is making them look. You know what I'm saying? Because these masks that this person has been wearing for a long ass time is finally like coming off. Like there's divine intervention here within someone. This tower feels like it's within somebody. You know what I'm saying? Even though it was thunderstorming this morning when I woke up to do your reading, but it's like somebody's like crumbling from within, if that makes sense. However, somebody built themselves up all the way to this point is like spirit is like tearing that down in a spiritual sense. It's like, nah, this is you need to rebuild yourself. You know what I'm saying? I feel like somebody is like trying to just, I don't know, this feels like somebody trying to just like keep going after some type of breakup or something. They're trying to keep maintaining or go on with their life like something never happened. But like, that's not how you go about shit. Somebody here really needs to heal. Because this is like the page of Cups Reverse coming out in in an adult reading. Because I don't read for children. So it's just like the page of Cups Reverse coming out. Mm -mm. Somebody is like really being childish. They're really being bratty. It's like somebody's like obsessed with their image. And with the Three of Pentacles Reverse, this is somebody who's refused. It's like this is somebody who's hard to work with. This is like bad reviews, Aries. Like this is like the three pentacles reverse with the page of cups reverse. This is like when people work with this person, 
they're just like absolutely not like this person is they do not know how to take constructive criticism like every time we try to tell this motherfucker they get defensive and offensive and you know what i'm saying it's just like mm -mm. like at some point you should be able to listen this is like a hard a hard head makes for a soft ass so somebody out here is being extremely hard-headed it's like people around you are trying to tell you the truth or trying to give you constructive criticism they're not trying to hurt your feelings they're just trying to help and it's like somebody out here is just like well you can't tell me and i it's like okay this is what i'm talking about when people have to learn the hard way and it's sad because like if if i'm a person you know, who has a lot of experience, especially when my experience is similar to yours, and I got advice that can help you to stop you from doing this, why wouldn't I want to help you? But, like, people make it hard to help them because of immaturity. You know what I'm saying? Three of Pentacles Birds, they be hard to work with. They don't want to listen. They don't want to cooperate. Like, this is what this is. Three of Pentacles Birds and the Ace of Pentacles Birds. Somebody out here didn't it's like somebody out here, they could have had great financial opportunities or a great job or something. It's like, but when they were making the money, they didn't do what they were supposed to do with it. It's like somebody didn't think about their future and now they didn't spend too much money. So now they're worried or anxious about their financial situation, especially because of this breakup. So if somebody was banking on, you know, financial security coming from somebody else like this is like somebody oh well my baby daddy got it or my husband got it so it's just like i could just fuck off my money and like now that it's a breakup going on somebody out here is just like nah so now i'm finna be broke i'm finna be struggling or i'm finna be a single parent or you know what i'm saying somebody didn't think about their future and they haven't been focusing on their job and shit it's like they're letting this emotional instability this emotional shit get the best of them because they're too busy trying to be revengeful and <sighs> irresisting out of my nerves and i just burp confirmation and excuse me this is crazy like, i don't know who the fuck is out here doing this it could be a water sign a cancer pisces or a scorpio i do got scorpio energy out here a little bit and then we also it's really nothing out here but earth and water so either some of you got earth placements or you're on the aries taurus cusp or you got water in your chart somewhere or this could be a water sign but my lord it's like somebody's acting out because they were dependent on somebody else's finances and now that shit is not going right and it's really like time for somebody to put on a big girl draws or big girl whatever you know it's like some it's time to put on them grown woman draws and grown man draws it's like it's time to stand on business like you can't be mad at somebody else you be mad at yourself for putting yourself in this type of predicament and i know women all the time be like well it takes two to make a baby and all of that yeah it do but that it still doesn't mean that you could force somebody to be a parent though either it's like you can't make somebody want to be a parent even though it took the two of y'all to bring the babies here that don't mean when the baby come everybody just gonna kick in and start being a parent i mean ideally that is what we would like to see happen but usually that's not the case you know what I'm saying? Usually most people who have children or have a baby or it might not even be no kids involved in this shit if you don't have any children or if your children are grown areas. But I don't know. This is either somebody who feels like their kids are grown now, but they wasted all their younger years or they wasted all their good years fucking with somebody who finally want to give their cup away and it ain't to them. So somebody's feeling some type of way about that, or this is somebody with kids who, you know what I'm saying, they had these babies, they thought their baby daddy was going to financially take care of them, they thought they secured a bag, but now it's just like they're unemployed or their money is kind of funny or they didn't save no money or they're on the verge of getting fired. It's just like something out, but somebody needs to, I don't fucking know, this is... So somebody could definitely be giving somebody constructive criticism out here, but somebody don't don't want to hear it. They're being hard hit. They're too busy obsessing, being emotionally immature. And whoever this emotionally immature person is with this page of Cusy Verse, this could definitely be somebody who, you know, 
possibly could have been molested as a child trigger warning so it's something coming up about that again too it's like somebody here hasn't healed from some sort of childhood abuse or if this person wasn't like sexually abused as a kid this is just somebody who there wasn't enough love, enough love or attention in the home you know what i'm saying when they were in their childhood you know they didn't get enough hugs they didn't get enough kisses they didn't get enough i love you's from their parents or whoever was raising them but And I feel like somebody is just tired. They're exhausted. Their energy levels are low with this three of pentacles reverse. It's like somebody's tired of the same old routine, the same old shit day in and day out. And it's just like somebody just doesn't care to work on it anymore. They don't care to keep working at this job. It's just like all somebody wants to do is like drink and drug and obsess about whatever the fuck this is going on with this man or going on with this woman. So, I don't fucking know. This, Aries, is this one of your kids? Like, it's a page because he works can be a child, so I don't know. But that's yeah, I'm hearing Capricorn. So, for some of you, this could be a Capricorn. Others of you, um, I don't know. You could be an Aries woman with an earth sign child. It definitely feels like they missed the opportunity or something was called off here or yeah i'm hearing girl with the tattoos so somebody out here got tattoos That's how they're describing somebody, girl with the tattoos. So it's like somebody, baby mama and shit, acting outside, and somebody didn't call the police. They like, yeah, it was a girl out here with tattoos, hella tattoos. <laughs> or I don't know, this could be a side bitch uh, out here acting like this. If she was fucking around with your baby daddy, because that Queen of Wands reverse, I mean, they could definitely be an Aries, or I mean, it could be a Sagittarius or a Leo. I feel like it's somebody out here straight tripping. It's like, it's a girl out here realizing like, damn, this nigga really not finna choose me. He really not finna offer me this Ace of Cups. He's either giving it to himself because you know, you see how he's drinking his own cup. This could be a man who likes wine too. But you see how he, yeah, this is somebody who likes to wear jewelry. I'm telling you, somebody likes to, oh, I feel like this man dresses nice. Whoever the fuck this is, but anyway. He's drinking out of his own cup. So he's either like taking all his love back from somebody or attention and affection and shit. Or he's like making this offer to somebody else or he's using his own ace of cups. I don't know. Yeah, siren. Told you it's a bitch out here acting crazy. Page of cups reversed with a siren. Like this is a succubus energy. A, a siren. A Jezebel. A bitch who... She could be into like threesomes and shit too. She could, cause the page of cups versus somebody who's promiscuous. You know what I'm saying? So she could do, did a lot of sexual shit, or she could have done a lot of freaky sexual shit with this man. A lot of kinked out shit. Mm -mm. And she's acting the fuck up. Sexual tactics, yeah. She's trying to get this man attention or trying to get this man to fuck her. I've seen the Ace of Wands reverse underneath there too. So this man, he don't want to hit no more because he's just like this bitch done lost her mind. You know, like damn bitch, I gave you the dick a few times and you didn't went crazy. Like you know what I'm saying? So this man, he probably like, yeah, I'm good on shorty. Like she, you know, tripping. Like 
Yeah, it says sexual tactics, gaining attention, lured by temptation. Yeah, this is a bitch who ain't trying to listen. It's like she just wants attention. She wants this man attention. So she could be calling him out, you know, exposing his dirty laundry, just doing all type of shit just to get his attention. She's acting like a fucking kid. Page of Cousin Verse, very jealous, very obsessed engaging in revenge plots to try to get back at this person just jealousy and envy like what the fuck sexual tactics yeah detectives snooping digging for dirt and accusations so yeah the police could be looking into this person now because this bitch called the cops on him mm -mm. so yeah like the police are like well let's see what this motherfucker do for a living like let's dig into their shit then oh we yeah, told, told you. Kinky ways. Sexually open, looking to explore fantasies and fetishes. But I don't think this... I don't think this girl is really like this. If she was to grow the fuck up and really mature as a woman, she would probably not even be into this type of shit. So she could be self-proclaimed bisexual or... I don't know. She just into a lot of kinky shit, looking to explore fantasies and fetishes. Or somebody even turned her ass out. Got her doing threesomes and all type of kinky shit. So she's just like, I don't want to stop this. Like, no, or something. I don't know. Yeah, it says, I miss you yearning, missing somebody and reminiscing. Yeah, buttering up. Using charm, persuasion for personal gain and finesse. Yeah, she's trying to finesse somebody with immature, small-minded, and insignificant drama. It's like she's being petty. And I'm telling you, this girl's favorite color could be pink. Or this could be somebody who she's into sunglasses and fur, possibly like a really type of glam type of energy. But it's just like she's real petty. Yeah, she could be trying to compete with a divine feminine over this person. But this person is a fuck up. Look at that. This is somebody who can't do shit right. Self-limiting and feeling inadequate. He's insecure as fuck. So she doing all this over an insecure ass nigga. Or whatever, and it's a divine feminine who could still be, you know, playing around with this person, but she ain't really tripping off the shit like that. It's this bitch who tripping. That's what I'm saying. So it's like she misses this person. She's trying to butter them up, but it's like she's immature, small minded, and causing all this drama. And somebody's like trying to charm somebody, using persuasion for personal gain, trying to finesse somebody. So yeah, this is a bitch who done acted all crazy, and now a nigga is turned off. Because he didn't see who the fuck she really is. That this bitch got issues. That this bitch is crazy. But now she's trying to like butter him up and be like, I didn't mean to act like that. Let's just, let's just have sex. Let's just tie me up again or something. I don't know. Aries, look. Baby, listen. So hopefully you're that divine feminine in the background that's like disengaged from this shit. Because the third party or the other woman to this shit is tricky. But like I said, for some of you, this could be because the Queen of Wands right there over there is in the reverse. But it's a bitch out here with her wires crossed. She's very immature, very elite, very hypersexual, promiscuous. She can be a siren, dresses real sexy, provocative. And th there's nothing wrong with dressing sexy. Like, I'm all for women feeling good about themselves, but... Not gonna lie, a lot of bitches just be doing this shit for attention. Like, if they would really, like, mature, grow up, work on themselves, they would get to a place where they just feel like that's not necessary. You know what I'm saying? You could still get attention from men, but the right kind of attention. Like, that shit is just dirty and disgusting to have all kind of niggas just all horny and trying to be in your face and it's like you know they ain't about shit it's like they're just in your face because they clearly can see your ass out or your titties out or whatever and I, I mean i don't know somebody may do that shit for a living or whatever the fuck the case may be but that shit is just i don't know it's just not i don't know teachers on i just don't i don't like that type of attention as a woman myself but to other women, I mean, that's they're okay with that. So, I don't know. Like, I don't like no thirsty-ass nigga. I barely like talking to motherfuckers, okay? I don't want no thirsty-ass nigga in my face trying to hit on me when I can clearly tell, like, as a, a high priestess, I know all you want to do is fuck. And I'm not about to fuck you. I don't got nothing for your ass. So, don't come over here. You ain't got to give me no compliment or nothing. Just stay where you are. 
You know what I'm saying? But everybody feels differently, so I don't know. I mean, because men going to look at you regardless. They always going to look at a leg, an ass, cheek, a, a titty, or something, a shoulder, elbow. Like, men going to look regardless, so it really don't matter what you wear. But it's just like... I don't want to, if they already looking at me, I'm not trying to give them a reason to keep looking, if you know what I mean, like, <clears throat> like, mm-mm, because it's like some men can't control themselves sexually, you know what I'm saying, which is unfortunate, but shit, a lot of, a lot of people can't control themselves on an emotional or sexual level, like, look at this bitch acting out emotionally, like, unintelligent. I don't know. I just don't like all that. Like, just stay your ass over there. Don't come talking to me about shit. Like, if I do dress, if I do dress sexy and I want to have my girls out and shit and all that type of shit, don't get me wrong. Like, when I was single, of course I would do that. Go out and have a good time and nothing to it. You know, pop my shit real quick. Um, now that I'm in a relationship, I still do kind of dress like that. But usually I'm with my man, and, and it's different when you go out with. A man doing this shit. I mean, she could be used to doing this with with whoever this man is out here. I don't know. So it's just like when you with a man and you doing this, then it's okay because normally an uh, other men won't say nothing to you if they see you with a man. But I don't know. So it's something out here because the page of custom first can be like body image. Somebody is like, you know, obsessed with how they look. You know, you know, I got to have makeup. I got to have my nails. I got to have this. I got to look like that. Like somebody definitely could be like obsessed with body image here. Let's see. But all this kinky shit ain't going to get your bills paid, sis. Like you go, you going to have to put your damn clothes on and go to work. <laughs> Let's see. That's a message here. something is getting boring like whoever this page of Kelsey reverse energy is i feel like she's getting on some man nerves because she's always wanting this always wanting that buy me this let's go here and it's just like girl you don't even work and you asking for all this shit like how like this is one of the bitches that they be talking about like mean, y'all be seeing people like talking that, talking that shit on social media be like bitches be you know broken one of the most expensive shit this is this type of bitch <laughs> Yeah, it says isolation prefers to be alone in order to protect from getting hurt does not take risk over things and over analyzes without action yeah so i told you somebody is like not wanting to be bothered with her ass like real shit it says prefers to be alone in one's thoughts individualist deep contemplation without interference from others isolation yeah somebody doesn't want to be bothered they want to be alone to protect themselves and they're overthinking and analyzing something yeah, it says lethal weapon. I told you, bitch, out here acting crazy, like scratching up a nigga car and all that type of shit, or pulling out a knife. It's like these hoes, boy. I swear to God. And then it's like bitches crash out like this, and then end up with all type of felonies and misdemeanors and shit, only making it harder for themselves. Cause it's like, okay, bitch, when you get done doing all of that, you still have to be an adult and make a living for yourself. And now it's going to be harder for you to get a job because you got shit on your background. Like, it's like bitches really don't be understanding that you're only fucking up yourself when you do this shit. Like, the best revenge is to leave a nigga alone completely. Like, give a motherfucker zero access to you. And that's how you will win in situations like these with men like this. Like, just cut a nigga off. Period. Have some self-respect. Shit. It says lethal weapon, deadly combination, double the trouble, triggers each other, explosive arguments, makeups to breakups and makeup cycles. So they both retarded. Like these motherfuckers, they both keep breaking up and getting back together, breaking up, getting back together. It's just like it says deadly weapon. Threatens to leave the relationship in order to have the upper hand, can be physically or mentally abusive, exerts power physically. So yeah, they could be fighting each other and shit. 
they both physically abusing each other. I don't know, Aries. This could be your ex. <laughs> like I said, like if your ex went on to be with somebody, it's like him and this bitch is like tripping. Yeah, it says more salty than sweet. Pretends to be nice, charming, overly compliments, controlling, suck up, hiding something extremely jealous and insincere. So yeah, it's like this bitch, she don't even really like this person. She's just doing this to like aggravate somebody. Yeah, the sweet spot, obsessive. Yeah, and she she couldn't she could know this person's like um whoever this page of cussy verse is, she could know this person's like um soft spots. You know what I'm saying? Like she knows where to hit this person, how to trigger them. You know what I'm saying? So she triggers this person a lot. She knows exactly what to do. And that's like that's what I'm saying. This is giving like Delilah and Samson energy. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, the Delilahs of the world, you know, you can go ahead and read that story if you want to, but like, basically, Delilah found his, his, uh, Delilah found Samson's weak spot to use it against him to try to sabotage him. Every time he tried to do shit, and he thought Delilah had his back and shit, and he gave her all the information, all the keys, all the secrets to his success. And every time he turned around, this bitch was trying to sabotage his ass. And he was wondering, like, well, damn, bitch, how are you even doing this? Because he was the one giving her the information, giving her the tea, giving her the scoop. It's like somebody out here is not a nigga friend. Your baby mama, if you're Aries man watching this, your baby mama is not your friend. She is not to be trusted. This bitch do not got your back, okay? She's trying to sabotage you and fuck your shit up. Because she has to use her pussy in order to try to make a living and it's not working anymore. So now she's trying to sabotage what you got going on if she haven't already. It says more salty than sweet. Pretends to be nice, charming. So this is a mean girl. This bitch is not even nice. And she acts like a kid. Um, overly compliments, controlling, suck up, hiding something. Yeah, so she got secrets and she's extremely jealous. That could be the secret. It says sweet spot, obsessive, wanting more, super needy, codependent, over the top, show off, landed on thick, love bombs too much too soon. So yeah, he got involved with this bitch too quick without really getting to know her. And that's be most men downfall because they be so busy trying to fuck a bitch, not really not realizing her ass is emotionally unstable. You know what I'm saying? So why you think you just getting some pussy? You're actually creating a problem for yourself in the future. Like what the fuck? Yeah, I told you somebody needs to lay off the sweets. You see that big ass piece of cake? I was like, yeah, it's like somebody's like low key trying to get back at that baby daddy. Like, it's a giving girl. Why are you doing all this over some fucking dick? Like, bitches do not understand that you cannot force a man to be a parent. He has to already have that as a quality as a man. He has to want to be a father just because you see him. With, with kids he already got by another bitch don't mean that he's a great father. You got to do your research, bitch. You got to dig. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you see him with his kids, but are he's, is he a really good father? How does he treat his children? How how often does he get them? How often is he around them? Like, you know, just because you're seeing shit on the outside on social media where people are posting, don't mean niggas really be father qualified. And then you will go right behind the bitch and have your baby have a baby by a nigga and then find out the hard way that his ass is a deadbeat. Like, girl, ain't got the nerve to be mad. Like, bitch, you need to grow the fuck up. Yeah, it says lazy. Does not put forth effort into career or life in general. Long-term goals are non-existent. Lives life one day at a time. Uses other people's resources. So, yeah, she was dealing with a loser. A lazy motherfucker. But she was, the, that's what I'm saying. Like a track like attracts like she looking for a sponsor a nigga with money to take care of her ass and he's looking for a bitch to take care of him so he ain't gotta work snooze fest says talks about minds as things with minimal substance superficial conversationalist does not think outside the box complain about the same old same old so yeah this is somebody who they just walk around saying the same old shit how bitches then did them wrong and this and that and this and that this is like right, bitch would you shut the fuck up? Nobody cares about what a bitch did to you. You cannot trust no man with a poor work ethic. Men are providers. They're going to get up and go to work for their family that they have to take care of. I don't give a fuck if it's rain, sleet, or snow. That man needs to get up and go to work. Just period.
But I feel like it's too late. That's why our bitch is acting now because she's realized how loser this person is, like, all of a sudden. <sighs> it says orbiting. Ghosts others but still interacts or views accounts via social media stories or posts gifts of this false sense of hope or reconciliation. So, yeah, he playing with this bitch. Trying to make it seem like they going to get back together. They going to try it again. Yeah, it keeps tabs on others out of boredom and loneliness. Likes the idea of what could have been. So, yeah, it's just like, even if these two motherfuckers were to get back together, it won't feel like it did initially. Too much damage has been done now. So, it's like trying to get back with a motherfucker after all of this. It, it just, it's not going to feel the same. It's not going to be the same. It's like they're going to be fighting and try to get back into that place that they once was, that honeymoon phase. But it's never going to be like that. Yeah, and this shit is just emotionally draining and it's affecting somebody's work ethic. Like, dealing with this person and being focused on this baby mama drama shit or baby daddy or whatever the fuck this is, it's draining somebody. Their energy levels is low to the point where they can't focus on their career. They're not feeling creative. It's like they just don't feel interested anymore. They don't care. It's just like they're being hard to work with or difficult. It's like, damn, bitch, what the fuck is going on? What's going on with you? Like, I don't know. Yeah, I just seen the emperor reverse. So, yeah, this is somebody deadbeat ass baby daddy or husband. Like, somebody who pretends to be. It's like the emperor reverse is somebody when you meet them, they come off like a real man. Like, they strong. Like, they can do this. They can do that. But when you really get to know this person and be around them and see how they move and see what kind of um, shit they entertain, uh, what kind of decisions that they make, you will be like, what the fuck? Like, this isn't, this isn't me. This isn't giving real man. And that's the that so this could be an Aries man because the Emperor is Aries energy. So this you know, you're not you give big dick energy, but it's not really giving big dick energy because the decisions that you make, you're a cheater, you're a liar, you're lazy. <laughs> uh uh. So it's like a bitch out here fighting for a piece of dick. Whoever this feminine energy is, this is just like, I don't want nobody else to have them type energy. Like, I don't want them, but I don't want nobody else to have them type shit. Like, girl. Yeah. Who Aries? This thing got on my nerves, baby. I need my coffee. Okay. Yeah, the devil reverse. Mm -hmm, told you, Capricorn out here. The devil reverse. The Knight of Wands reverse. Yeah, I'm telling you, somebody. I'm telling you, a karmic got cut off. The devil reverse. Even this man, this man, he ain't shit. But he don't want to be bothered with this bitch though. It says solitude out here with the devil in the reverse. The devil reverse is breaking away from something toxic. But this man ain't shit because he's showing up in the Knight of Wands energy. This is somebody who's not ready to settle down. Somebody who's jealous, volatile, abusive. It's like they care too much about their images. So this is a hot boy, hot girl type shit. Somebody who be outside. It's like they're very promiscuous. So he could have even gave this bitch an STD, whoever this man is. Like this Knight of Wands reverse could have gave this Page of Cups reverse female an STD because... The Knight of Wands versus somebody who's sexually um, promiscuous or this whoever this masculine energy is, this is a karmic man. He can have Sagittarius in his chart. Very immature, very low vibrational, lazy. You know, this could be somebody with a lot of talent, but he ain't got no motion, though. He's not putting in the work. You know, he's just running around chasing pussy like what in the fuck? <laughs> Somebody very, this is somebody with an anger problem. Like, God. Who Aries? This is a mess. For shit. This Page of Cups reverse bitch, she's promiscuous too. So I don't know who gave who an STD, but I feel like he not, he not fucking with that shit. It's like he still want to be a hoe, but he ain't trying to have no dirty dick either. He's just like, nah, I ain't fucking with this bitch no more because, uh-uh. 
The devil reverse, bitch, you too motherfucking toxic. <laughs> Yeah, seven of cups. It's like somebody's just lost or confused or delusional out here. Or this is somebody who just constantly gets high, always drinking. They all they got several options. Not the ones reversed in the seven of cups. This nigga always in the bitch DMs. Always. <laughs> like you got hella hoes or hella options or you know, he just knows because the night of wands is usually somebody with a nice size dick and somebody who's nice looking. Like, this could be somebody who's mixed or Haitian or they got whatever skin tone they got is really nice. This could be a nice looking chocolate man or a nice brown skin looking man or um, this could be somebody who's mixed in whatever in, in whatever way. Shit, it could be Mexican, Italian, black and white, whatever the fuck. But I feel like this man is attractive with the night of wands. He definitely looks good, but he's definitely community dick. He fucks a lot of hoes, like real shit. Mm -mm, that's sad. Yeah, four of wands is here. Mm. So for some of you, Aries, you could be in a relationship. Mm, but we'll see. We'll see what that four of wands is about. Why is the devil reverse? Aries, if you got a kid with this person, this person has multiple kids. This could be like the other baby mama still tweaking and shit. Oh, that's the devil reverse. This could be a Sagittarius Capricorn Cusper with the devil and the Knight of Wands next to each other. Yeah, look at that. Nine of Cups reverse. Shattered dreams. Somebody's like miserable. They're not even happy living this lifestyle. It's like this person doesn't know what makes them happy because they haven't done the work. It's like even fucking all these hoes don't even satisfy this nigga no more. It's like this is a nigga with no purpose. Like he don't know what he likes, what he wants, what he wants to do. Like this is somebody who needs to soul search, but they could have some type of sex addiction or porn addiction. It's like my, my nigga, you need to go get help for that. You know what I'm saying? It's a reason why somebody could be addicted to porn or something. But nine of cups, this is somebody who drinks a lot or they're just miserable, but at the same time, they're arrogant. It's like they're not happy with themselves. This this man is not happy with the decisions that he made in his life. Like who he had kids by, uh, what he does for a living, the path that he chose, um how he ruined his name in the streets and all this type of shit is he's not happy with himself now on the coast reverse he feel like his dreams are shattered this is misery this is somebody very selfish that's what i'm saying this ain't no grown man it's like this is somebody who fucks real good but it's just like they leave you unsatisfied it's like this is the type of nigga. It's like if you don't get my, if you don't get your nut when I get my nut, then bitch, oh well. It's like they not gonna go out of their way to make sure you get yours, or they not gonna make sure that you came or whatever. It's just like they gonna fuck, get their issue off, and then they gonna be chilling somewhere. Like that's crazy. So this shit not, this sex not even satisfying. You know what I'm saying? It may feel good because this man probably got a nice size penis. But it's not fulfilling. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, damn, like, okay, you didn't pumped on me for 15 minutes, but nigga, I ain't even getting my issue off. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? Or this could be somebody who even fuck. They don't eat your pussy every time. Like, ugh, fuck, nah, bitch, look. I'll be mad as a motherfucker, okay? Do you hear me? I don't play those type of games, period. <laughs> nine of Cups reverse is very self-serving. This person is very selfish with the Nine of Cups reverse. to somebody they're emotionally they're emotionally they're not in a good place like they could be the nine of cups reverse too like emotionally somebody is like not happy nothing satisfies this person no matter what it is pussy alcohol drugs it's like and it's money and this person still just like blah yeah five of swords 
Mm -hmm. Somebody's trying to win at all costs. I hear somebody's competing. They're jealous. They're trying to one up. But like I said, the Five of Swords is like really a low vibrational way of thinking. That's why I said the Five of Swords, people never win. It's like short-lived victories. It's like this person has a survival mentality. It's like they know how to survive short-term, but long-term they don't. Why is the Five of Swords here? And it's like this person knows that they've hurt two women. Like these, this person, this dude like to play mind games. You see, it's two women back there. This person and did dirty or he didn't hurt or got over on or played mind games with. Five of swords here. Yeah, the high priestess. See, here go you, Aries. Like, I know this is you. Some of you, um... Some of you could be on the um, Pisces, Aries cusp. So you're a high priestess. Some of you could be readers. It's like, you know, this motherfucker is still out doing the same shit. Yeah. So for some of you, you have a baby by this person, but you don't speak on this person. You don't mention their name, the high priestess, but you know everything about this person. But you don't speak on them. You stay quiet with the high priestess here. Like I said, this could be somebody, if you were with this person, this could be somebody who cheated on you a lot. <laughs> As a high priestess here, but you don't speak. You haven't outed this person or nothing. I'm like, I, I know it got to be a divine feminine somewhere. Yeah, this could be somebody with daddy issues. Why is a high priestess here? Yeah, three of swords. Or this person could be acting out because he's heartbroken over you. With the three of swords here. Libra energy. Yeah, the world card. Or shit, this could be this high priestess. Like three of swords, you could be heartbroken Aries. Over the loss of this connection. But this is like, you don't speak about it. Three of swords... It's like you're just healing in silence. But I feel like you've leveled up with the world card. This cycle is closed out. And I feel like you had to close the door on this. You had to close this cycle out. Not because you wanted to, but because you had to. This person, they need to get their shit together. That's real shit. And I feel like you started some sort of new beginning or new chapter, new phase of your life. You could be graduating from somewhere, or some of you could be readers online with the high priestess in the world card here. Yeah, this this man could be a fixed sign. So he could be a Leo, Scorpio, a Taurus, or an Aquarius. What I say? Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, and Aquarius. Yeah. He could be any one of those signs. Or like I said, he could be a Sagittarius, Capricorn, Cusper. Why is the world here? Yeah, page of wands reverse. Yeah, there could be rumors going on around about this person or somebody. Why is the page of wands reverse? But it's like page of wands reverse. You want to be mindful because some with well, the page of wands reverse is like word of mouth. So it's like people, you know, gossiping, spreading rumors, or talking about something that came out about this person. But you have to be careful with the page of wands reverse because just because there's rumors going around don't mean that they all are true. Yeah, Knight of Swords. Yeah, this is somebody who's so immature. Knight of, Knight of Wands reverse Knight of Swords. This is somebody who ghosts. They're in and out of your life. They come and go as they please. Somebody who's very impulsive. It's like they move too quick. It's like this is the type of person who don't think things all the way through. For some of you, this man could be in the military. Yeah, Knight of Cups reverse. Yeah, they're a charmer, a seducer, and a gaslighter. For some of you, not all of you, for some of you, this person is down low with the Knight of Cups reverse. Others of you, this is just a manipulator. Knight of Wands, this, this Knight of Cups reverse, this person is a womanizer. 
It's like they, they get off on playing with bitches' emotions, but I don't know why. Like, it could stem from something in their childhood. I definitely feel like this man didn't have a father figure. This is giving, like, this is a man who was raised by a woman acting like this. Like, real shit. Not a wands reverse, a gaslighter, a charmer, a seducer. Very insincere. Like, this person don't love nobody. They don't even love themselves. Like, real shit. You absolutely cannot build a relationship with somebody in this energy. Knight of Wands reverse, King of I mean Knight of Wands reverse, Knight of Swords reverse, and Knight of Cups reverse. This person isn't even showing up as a king. Well, here he is. Now that I said that, but it's the King of Pentacles reverse. Very much a deadbeat father. Very much materialistic. This person could do something under the table to make money. It's like this. This is a man who doesn't know his purpose is in life. Outside of being a father, he don't know what he's supposed to be doing with his life. And he could have money for some of you, but King of Pentacles versus somebody who's materialistic and irresponsible. So it's like he can have money, but he doesn't do the right thing with the shit. Yeah, look at that. Two of Pentacles reverse, he can be in debt or his credit is fucked up. Or he don't know how to save money. He didn't bid off more than he can choose, so he got too much shit to pay for. Or shit, he was scamming or doing something. Or his car is too expensive. He could be on the verge of getting his shit repo. <laughs> mm -mm. King of Pentacles reverse. Somebody very selfish. They don't see the value in an emotional connection with a woman. Yeah, so it could be rumors going around. Page of Wands reverse with the Knight of Cups reverse about this person's se sexuality. But I feel like that gay shit may not be true. I feel like this is just somebody who they abuse women. They emotionally manipulate women. It's a troublemaker with the um, Knight of Cups reverse. Somebody who would cause emotional trouble for you. Yeah, this is you, Queen of Cups, or this is a divine feminine out here. A high priestess and a Queen of Cups could be a Pisces. Um, but like I said, some of you got Pisces heavy in your chart or you're on the cusp. And I feel like you're just healing, Queen of Cups. You're very sweet, lovable, caring, nurturing. You're a good mother. something about your skin yeah six of wands somebody out here definitely has a platform six of wands and a high priestess you could definitely be like um a model or you 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 do something on, on the internet with the world card and the six of wands here some of you could be famous or in the industry you could model you could be an ig model or something Six of Wands, yeah, the lovers. Yeah, you could be connecting with somebody else or this is coming back, you know, this is you coming in union with yourself. You know what I'm saying? Getting back to you again after dealing with this person. You could be enjoying some sort of success because that's what the Six of Wands is, especially if you have a platform. It's a lot of likes, shares, subscribes, comments, like people fuck with your platform or your pictures or whatever you post. It's like people like it. How's the lovers here? Yeah, I feel like you're finally choosing yourself. Yeah, and leaving this person out in the cold. It's like you wanted to cheat and you got you got with a fucking page of cups of crazy ass weird bitch or that page of cups reverses they other baby mama. It's like this person just wasn't worth it. Real wands reverse. Yeah, I told you this person has no plans for the future. They don't know what they're gonna do with their life. They just feel delayed, frustrated, mad because something didn't turn out like they thought it, it would. Like, oh, well. It's like you can't find this man, whoever he is. Like, you can't find your purpose because you, um, I'm like, you can't find your purpose because you won't sit the fuck down somewhere. Instead of, you need to go get help for this addiction. You need to go heal. For some of you, this person has a gambling problem. They're bad with money, irresponsible, credit fucked up. 
they got a survival mentality. It's like you need to go talk to somebody. Just three, three of wands reverse. It's like they are not where they want to be or where they thought they would be in their life by now. Yeah, Empress Reverse told you because they got a baby mama who out here tripping, a Taurus or a Libra possibly, but it doesn't have to be. The Empress is just somebody who looks good, but the bitch is high maintenance and insecure as fuck. Told you, it's two women out here, Empress Reverse and a High Priestess. This High Priestess is the real divine feminine. I feel like that's the one who don't speak on this person. She don't say nothing about them. She not revealing none of the secrets. She just mind her business and stay quiet. But the proof is in the pudding because this Empress Reverse and this Knight of Wands Reverse dynamic, they be getting into it or going back and forth or there's been rumors and gossip and shit. This Empress Reverse, she's a fake ass bitch or they can have somebody pregnant. Or this is their baby mama, a raggedy bitch. Very insecure, terrible mother, smothering, jealous, spiteful, vindictive. Like, yeah, death reverse. Mm hmm. Yeah, two of cups reverse. Yeah, this person refused to change. Death card. And the two of cups reverse, so it ended a connection. Two of cups reverse is like you and this person are not even compatible no more. Yeah, for a lot of you, this is definitely your baby daddy. Six of cups reverse, you can have kids with this person. You can have one kid with this person. For some of you, but yeah, it's like you realize that you and this person aren't equally yoked. Like, you're not, it's not mutual, like here. And somebody's stuck in a hat, stuck in the past because they need to work on their childhood trauma. Somebody is miserable out here. Nine of Cusy Verse, six of Cusy Verse. This is somebody who feels like the best years of their life, their life are older. I mean, over. It's like they feel like their family didn't teach them correctly. Like they were given the wrong information. It's like they just feel defeated. So they're not even trying. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, four swords reverse. Yeah, but this is somebody who, in the same token, they be like, "Well, I don't need no help. I don't need to see no therapist." Yes, the fuck you do. That's what I'm saying. That's that's that brainwashing, that conditioning shit. Like they grew up in a family that be like, "Nah, bro, that ain't how we handle shit. We don't go to therapists. We don't do that type of shit or whatever." So this person has stuck with it throughout their ad adulthood, but now here they are, a grown ass man, and they need mental help. They need help from a professional. For a source, this person could suffer from insomnia. They don't sleep well. And they're up, keep thinking about something. I feel like they tried to create some sort of stability, but they created it with the wrong bitch. Like, real shit. Yeah, seven of swords reverse, and they got caught cheating or lying about something. Yeah, hang man. Or they caught somebody cheating and lying and being sneaky. I'm about to get off of here, Aries. Why is the seven of cups here? It's heavy Pisces energy out here. Why is the um seven of cups here? Yeah, it's like somebody's confused, lost. They feel trapped or stuck. They could be playing victim. This person could feel oppressed. Like they're real worried about something. This person has a lot of anxiety. Why is that eight, eight of swords here? It's like they don't know how to get out of, get themselves out of something. Ten of swords here in the reverse. Yeah, the nine of swords. Yeah, somebody know they fucked up out here. They ruined something. They sabotaged something with you, Aries. Yeah, king of swords reverse. Some of you, this could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or it's a bitch out here cheating, got caught cheating. There's a king of pentacles reverse and a king of swords reverse. Or shit. It's like these two. I told you because the page of Cuz Reverse, there's a siren, a promiscuous bitch out here. And she is um very much jealous, childish, insecure, um, very promiscuous. She could have gave these niggas something. She been still sleeping around with the both of them. I mean, this King of Swords Reverse, the King of Wands Reverse and the King of Swords Reverse are both cheaters. They're both liars. They're both not good men to build relationships with, just period. They got work to do on themselves. But if they all been sleeping around like this, this page of Cups reverse, this this female she been fucking off, 
this king of swords reverse been fucking off and the king of pentacles reverse been fucking off but they all still been going back and forth be between each other it's like now motherfuckers don't know where they didn't got some shit from or who didn't gave something to somebody because like the king of swords was still fucking around with this page of cups reverse and this king of pentacles was fucking on this page of cups reverse and this page of cups reverse she been fucking the both of them it's like, well, where did we get the shit from, though? Because all of y'all been cheating. All y'all been fucking off doing some nasty shit. So who the fuck, where did this shit come from? I feel like it was probably her, though. Because <laughs> she came out first with that promiscuous-ass energy. Now somebody's fucked up. They're worried. Somebody's scared here. It could be this King of Swords reverse, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It's definitely a third party here. A page of cups reverse. This siren bitch. And there's two men out here. So it's a bitch out here who was cheating or sleeping around on some whole shit. And now she didn't caught something or she didn't gave these niggas something. It's like none of they ass know who the fuck gave who what. And I feel like you're just in a cut back here with the high priestess energy areas. You not already closed this cycle out. You moved on. It's like you've won. You got the upper hand. It's like you came out unscathed. It's like you're not a part of this fiasco of a... I don't know what the fuck this is. Why is the um, King of Swords reverse? Yeah, Two of Pentacles reverse. So this King of Swords reverse, this air sign man is the one with the fuck up money. His money is funny. Or he's always at work trying to stay away from home because he's scared. Not in the story. He may need to go to the doctor or some shit. Yeah, the Emperor Reverse. Yeah, somebody shouldn't have been cheating. I feel like this King of Swords Reverse is supposed to be in a relationship, but he was fucking around with this Page of Cups Reverse because she was seducing him and trying to offer all this kinky sexual shit. And I feel like he went for it. Five of Pentacles, yeah, he, he probably don't feel well. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Mm -hmm. King of Cups. What the, who the fuck is all these men? Like, King of Cups here. Yeah, he could be in love. So, this King of Swords reverse, he could really be in love with somebody. So, it's. One of these men out here would just fucking and just be fucking. You know what I'm saying? He just wanted to hit this page of cups real quick. But I don't feel like it was worth it. Because now somebody doesn't want to work with him. Even though he's in love with somebody. It's just like, okay, you love me, but you a cheater. You didn't already took a risk. So it's just like, nah, I'm cool on you. Three of Pentacles reverse. Typical nigga shit. They don't realize they really actually cared about your ass until it's too late. And now, Ace of Pentacles reverse. He missed the opportunity. So, oh well. I feel like it was a bunch of men fucking around with this one hoe. And it's just like, you took yourself out of it. High Priestess reverse. So, I don't know. For some of you um Aries, whoever this promiscuous ass bitch is with all this drama going around with these men... This could be a friend of yours that you try to warn, like, girl, because you're a high priestess. You know what I'm saying? You're psychic, intuitive. You got knowledge. It's like you could have told your friend, whoever this immature ass bitch is, like, girl, you need to go sit down somewhere. Like, leave them niggas alone. Stop doing that shit. But it's like three dudes out here. Emperor reverse, king of pentacles reverse, and the king of swords reverse. They don't feel like the same person to me. So, I don't know, one of your friends is going through something and now the bitch is in hiding. <laughs> That's the hermit reverse. Well, this is somebody who doesn't take constructive criticism well. So, for some of you Aries, like if you try to give your friend advice or something, it's like the bitch wasn't trying to hear you. Yeah, nine of pentacles reverse. Six of pentacles reverse. Yeah, somebody's money is fucked up out here. Somebody overspends, living above their means. They need help. Like, real shit. They may not be saying this. Yeah, two of swords reverse, but the lies are being exposed. Information is coming out about what's really going on behind the scenes. Yeah, you can have a, I'm hearing you can have a cancer homegirl with a, 
a Taurus baby daddy. Aries. Oh, it would be random ass messages. Like, who the fuck are these people? Justice? Yeah, seven of wands. Yeah, something's going to backfire here because the karmic skills are being corrected. Like, real shit? Yeah, look at this shit. And all this drama. Yeah, so you're getting justice. Whoever this high priestess is, you're getting justice. The karmic skills are being made right because I don't know if these people try to lie on you. Or one of these men try to lie on you, say you were the one who gave them something, or your baby daddy tried to get you involved in this shit. But something backfired. Seven of Wands reverse and the Five of Wands. Now everybody's fighting, there's arguing, there's conflict, there's drama, jealousy, pettiness. And these people have no protection with the Seven of Wands reverse. So it's open game for all these spirits and entities to attach to these people. Yeah, I feel like you you release this shit. Ten of Wands, you're just like, hell no. Nah. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles, yeah, you're over here. Some of you could be in a new relationship. Or like I said, you could just be stable by yourself. Four of Wands and the um, Ten of Pentacles with the uh, High Priestess. It's like you get a good job or you make money off of your platform. So you're stable or you come from money because your family could be wealthy with the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, Ten of Swords here. Yeah, this, this is giving me like Nunu energy from um, ATL. Because, <laughs> you know, um, Nunu, she came from money. You know what I'm saying? But she got hooked up with T.I., which he would have been considered like, you know, a hood nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. It's like you could be a good girl with like a hood baby daddy or something. Eerie. Yeah, Cherry Reverse told you. Here go this cancer. Yeah, Ace of Cups reverse. Yeah, I don't know. Somebody around you definitely got issues. And I feel like you're just over here like, nah, I'm not playing this shit. Yeah, look at that. And this is the truth. Yeah, all this shit is coming to the light and being exposed. The sun with the Ace of Swords, the Hierophant, and the Queen of Swords. I feel like this is you. Some of you, you could be in a twin flame union um, with the high, the Hierophant and the um, High Priestess out here. Or somebody's in a Queen um in a... Uh, Twin Flame Union. You could have predicted that this was going to happen to this person. Aries. I feel like you've moved on with your life. You're not even a part of this. Or this is like somebody that you used to date. And it's like they're being exposed. Or the truth is coming out about something that they were involved in. Like, this is just too much shit going on. But anyway, look, Aries, I'm going to leave it here. Okay, hopefully it resonates. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. All that good shit. And I'll holler at you later. Okay, peace.